every time I do like a little whiff, I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's me. It's me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those that are new and welcome back to another video. In the title, we're gonna be talking about one of my most favorite things, which is perfume, 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 perfume. I love perfume, I love smelling good. I love getting compliments on my fragrance, I just love it. So of course, before we get started in the video, we have to tell our fragrance of the day and I'm wearing Dolce & Gabbana's Parfum Intense. This is one of my most favorite vanilla marshmallowy scents and I definitely recommend. And I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what scent you're wearing. All right, back into the video. So I decided to go ahead and do a review on this perfume. It is fairly new, it came out in November 2021 and it is a vanilla heavy scent. So of course, I had to get it because vanilla is one of my most favorite notes. Vanilla in my body chemistry, best friends. And I don't know if everyone is like me, but sometimes when I'm trying to go get a new fragrance, I have to go spray it first, let it settle with my spirit to see if I really like it. And then eventually I'll just say, Tiffany, you know you like this perfume, just go ahead and get it. So that's what I did because I smelled this before and I was like, hmm, I was a little iffy, but it is a really, really, really good scent. So let's get into it. I purchased this perfume from Ulta, one of my most favorite stores, and I got the 1.7 ounce, and it was around $58. Of course, you can always save this bottle for your decor. It will be it will be staying with me even when I'm done with this fragrance. Like, I'm definitely keeping this bottle. Like, it's so different and so unique. Yeah. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's hop into the fragrance. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Oh, don't break it, Tiffany. Y'all, when I tell you in love, this is such a beautiful vanilla fragrance. And I know, you know, you can't really mess up vanilla, but you can at the same time. This is your perfect vanilla scent. It's so many things that you can do with this scent. It's so versatile because vanilla is not really something that's too powerful. It's just a calming type of scent. And this is, this is pure gold. Oh, this is bronze, pure bronze. Like, it's such a calm, warm, oh, uh, just warm and beautiful scent. There's no other way to describe it. You can you definitely smell like a little spice to it but it's not too much because i don't really like spicy scents but it's not doing too much in this one i definitely smell the vanilla i'm getting vanilla cocoa butter and spice those are the three things that i'm getting out of this fragrance and it is a beautiful mixture like just think of a, a vanilla cocoa butter like doesn't that just sound beautiful a vanilla cocoa butter It smells so good. Now this is such a very subtle light, but it's still saying I'm here, you can smell me, you're going to smell me type of scent. It's not doing too much. Meaning you can go go to work, go out with your friends, date night. So I would recommend this scent for like fall or winter because it is so warm. It is so comforting, so cozy. And me, I'm the type, I'm going to wear my fragrances where there is winter, fall spring summer i don't care if i like the way it smells i'm going to wear it. i don't typically save my scents for a, um a season right now it's summertime and uh, guess what i'm still spraying it like i'm going to wear my fragrances that's one thing i'm gonna do whoever the chemist was did their thing because it is a really really nice scent Mm, oh my god, you know I just keep smelling my arm because it just smells so good. Every time I do like a little whiff, I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's me. It's me. So this fragrance is a parfum, which means it will last longer on the skin. It is more oil-based and it should last longer than your average toilet. So that is a good thing because I love, I love to just spray my perfumes once and not have to worry about reapplying. I mean, I don't mind reapplying, but it's just good to have that fragrance that you, you know, just lasts all day 
You won't have to worry about, oh, I'm not, I don't smell it no more. Let me, let me up my scent. I just want to do a disclaimer because, you know, the girls like to tussle in the comments or go crazy over perfumes. This fragrance works for me. I love the scent, the smell of this fragrance. You know, what works for me might not work for you. So I'm just letting you all know my personal perspective of this perfume. I'm going to try to work this scent out before I look at the notes and before I, I study up on it some more. But um, when I initially sprayed it, I got the vanilla head strong. Then when it, um, I got the vanilla head strong and the spice. Once it settles down and mixed with your chemistry, or with my chemistry, I get a vanilla cocoa butter, cocoa buttery scent. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's my perspective of this fragrance and I'm gonna give y'all the real tea. I'm about to give y'all the, um, the notes. So we're gonna talk about the notes of the fragrance. Okay, so per Ulta, it says, this perfume is a captivating amber gourmand featuring notes of sugar petals, creamy vanilla, and warm musk. Hmm, okay, that sounds good. Like, just listen, sugar petals, creamy vanilla, and warm musk. Beautiful. I definitely get the creaminess of this scent, well, of the vanilla, and the warm, the warmness. So now we're gonna get into the fragrance family. It, said it, is a, it says it is an amber gourmand. And the key notes, here we go. The top notes are sugar petals, mandarin, and warm berries. That's different, I would've never guessed warm berries. Um, the middle notes, creamy vanilla, soft spices, and cocoa. See, <laughs> I'm doing good at this. I said I got a spicy note, and I also said it's a cocoa, but it, like, it smells like cocoa, van a vanilla cocoa scent. Um, and the base, sleek woods, warm musk, and tonka beans. Mm, I definitely smell the tonka in this. Yep, 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 yep. This is all the things that I love. Vanilla, tonka bean, cocoa, anything that's like a gourmand fragrance. Bring it to me. Bring it to me, bring it to me, bring it to me. If you're really into gourmand vanillas, this fragrance will be for you. I, 10 out of 10, I believe that you will enjoy this fragrance. If not, or if you do, I want you to comment down below and tell me what you think. If you don't, I still want to know your opinion. So feel free to comment, you know, your opinion on this fragrance. I would love to know. Mm, it just, oh my gosh, it just smells so good. And when I tell y'all, like I said before, I really love when people compliment me on my fragrance. Tells me I smell good. That's one of my top, top tier compliments. You can tell me I look pretty. You can tell me you love my outfit. You love this, you love that, but when you tell me that I smell good, it just does something to my soul. Like, it's it's so different. I love when people tell me I smell good. And you know, it's a compliment to you keeping up with your hygiene. Must, that's a must, keep up with your hygiene. See how I just get all off topic. So with this fragrance being a perfume, I would say that it typically lasts about seven to eight hours on my skin i don't have to go back and reapply this scent because it just lasts that long and me i work with kids and you know we're outside we're in the classroom so and i still smell the fragrance and that's a plus that's a plus because this is not offensive it's just your basic subtle scent it's not doing too much it's not overpowering it's just doing just enough every time i walk in the building they're like oh we know what she has on because me i'm not the type of um, what is it gatekeep my fragrances because one our body chemistry is um what i'm trying to say our body chemistry is not the same so you will not smell exactly like the person and two why not put the girls on so yeah every time i come in the building somebody's like oh my gosh you smell so good you know what you have on yeah and do <laughs> But that's just with any of my fragrances. Like, I'm, I'm willing to tell what I have on. That's just me, though. And most of the time, I'm mixing my fragrances. Or, what is it called? Yeah, I'm mixing my fragrances. You don't know exactly what I have on. It's a mixture of things. But let me tell y'all, when I... Fragrance of the day. When I had on this scent, um, I went up to Best Buy. And y'all, it was a lady literally following me in the store. And so, when I finally stopped, she was just like, oh my God. I love the way you smell. I love what you have on. And like, you know, I was 
I was appreciative of the compliment, but ma'am, you're following me. Like, <laughs> I would have rather her just, you know, tap me on, well, not tap me, but like, um, stop me and say, oh my gosh, what do you have on? Or you smell nice, rather than follow me. Because you gotta keep your guard up. Now, people are crazy. Like, for real. But, um, yeah, so this would definitely definitely be a great transition piece you know from the teenage years to wearing like bath and body works body fantasies victoria's secret this would be i'm stepping up i'm getting into my perfumes more expensive brands type of thing not to say that you know bath and body works and victoria's secrets are not that girl because guess what i still wear them from time to time but this is a great step up from you know the average bath and body works and victoria's secrets y'all get what i'm trying to say and this is kind of off topic but this is another this is another transition piece from you know your bath and body works to big girl perfumes it's such a beautiful fragrance it's so fresh all right this is a whole nother just know that this is a great transition fragrance as well i'll probably do a separate video on this so look out for that so what are the keynotes in this perfume it is a great vanilla scent it is a great starter scent if you're just getting into fragrances. The longevity of this perfume is great. I would definitely say it lasts between seven to eight hours. Um, the bottle, the bottle is perfect. You can also keep this as a as a decor piece when you're done with this fragrance. So, would I recommend this scent? And the ultimate answer is yes, 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 yes. I would recommend this scent to somebody that's 16 and up. I don't see no issue with someone older, younger, wearing this fragrance. It's such a versatile scent. You can wear this day, night, evening. So one of my favorite things to do is talk about fragrances and smelling good. So if you all would love to see more of my collection, see more of my videos about fragrances, then of course, of course, of course, stay tuned. I will be posting more and more. And I also did a fragrance review on Victoria's Secret Tea's Cream Cloud. And I just want y'all to go check that out because, you know, if you like my reviews or videos, there's something else for you to watch. And, you know, support your girl. So I also did a, um, a fragrance video. It was my top five luxury fragrances. So if you all would love to see that, you know, I'll link it down or link it somewhere. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. So yeah, um, I just hope that you all liked my video. Um, don't forget to tell me your fragrance of the day. If you like this scent or if you don't like your like this scent, I would like to know your opinion. Yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I hope I cover everything. The bottle, the price, the notes, the scents, what I recommend. Yeah, I think that was everything. If I missed something, you know, feel free to let me know. Um yeah so just make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be posting daily throughout the week pray for me because I'm, that's going to be my goal so i thank you all so much for tuning into my video and see you later